do you do on your spare time? Any hobbies? Anything fun? Sleep, golf, eat, eat out. Sleep? That's my favorite hobby my ever. Favorite hobby, sleep. People discount them, but I, you know, when I get a chance, I like to sleep. During a week, ice skating. Ice skating. You really like Staten to go ice skating? Island, great ice skating rink right there, right by where I live in uh, Clove Lake Park, so it's great. You're a good ice skater. You're telling me that you can skate around that rink? Yes. Without falling on your tush? Uh, I don't know. Every once in a while. Every once in a while. You know, it depends on how many people are out there who don't know how to skate. How about in the summertime? Anything fun in the summer? Uh, golf. I love, I love to golf. So we go out and golf with the uh, crew of guys. Every weekend we golf a lot. Any career, so, I mean, you know how hard it is to be a chef. Growing up, I know that you said you wanted to be a chef. You knew you wanted to be a chef growing up. Isn't that right? That is correct. In the restaurant business, but kind of gravitated towards being a chef as I got more experience in the restaurant business. Now that you're the head chef and you know exactly how much work it is, what would you do differently? Would you still choose to be a chef? Attention in school a lot more. (laughs) (laughs) I would have been a priest like my mother wanted me to, and I would have saved myself so much aggravation. Uh, a priest, huh? A priest. They got the life. They got the life. Uh, I don't know. I would have um, got a little bit more varied experience. But, uh, you know, sometimes you're thrown into a situation or you take a direction and it doesn't matter what, how that direction starts, but so long as you wind up where you want to be. And I think that, you know, yeah. I know I'm where I want to be and where I'm at in my career. So That's awesome. Not all people- Everybody has a different path. Yeah. One way, right way to do it. Honestly, I feel like not a lot of people can say that they're where they want to be because a lot of us, I mean, for me, myself, I'm still like kind of searching for it. So it's really, truly great that you can sit here and part of being happy is being content where you are, but thinking about what you want to do and where, you know, like uh, in cooking, you you always think about the end Mm -hmm. first, or you think of what the dish would look like, what it would taste like, Mm -hmm. and then you work backwards from there. It's the same thing of like where I am now, or just where the group is now. We're very content where we are. Speaking of dishes... Is there a certain dish? I mean, this is such a common question, but Dino, know. Certain dish yeah, that certain you love. A dish that I love. <laughs> a dish that I love. You know, being from New York and being from uh, Brooklyn, it, it, you're talking about Asian or just in general? No. What is, when you go home or when you go out, what is it that you're craving most that you really got to have? I am really like a pizza aficionado. I think one thing, Staten Island's got a lot of great pizzerias. And New York has got so many great pizzerias, and I'm always looking for that. One great, perfect pizza pie. Okay, so a chef like yourself, Brooklyn, New York native, you've got to know the best pizza place in New York. Yeah. Which one well, is the best? It's a different style. So if you like going for the slice pie, there's a place in Queens called New Park that does a great slice kind of pie. There's a coal-burning oven pie, Lucali's in Brooklyn, that does a great job. And, uh, those, and Franny's in uh, Flatbush does a great job. Also.